Hi, BCC Arts to
Ubuntu, Ubuntu. Ubuntu, Ubuntu. Ubuntu, Ubuntu. Ubuntu, Ubuntu. Transcendent in, in, in our African languages, we speak of something called Ubuntu. Ubuntu, Ubuntu. Ubuntu, Ubuntu. Ubuntu, Ubuntu. Ubuntu, Ubuntu. humanity. We say a person is a person through other persons, that we are interconnected, that we belong one to another, and that when one goes down, ultimately we all go down. Ubuntu, Ubuntu. Ubuntu, Ubuntu. Ubuntu, Ubuntu. Ubuntu, Ubuntu.
you know we are made for freedom. And even when you stamp on us almost forever, as a tyrant, you have had it. And freedom will come. Human beings will strive after that. For we know inside us that we're made for the transcendent. In, in, in our African languages, we speak of something called Ubuntu. Ubuntu, Ubuntu. Ubuntu, Ubuntu. Ubuntu, Ubuntu. Ubuntu, Ubuntu. humanity. We say a person is a person through other persons. That we are interconnected. That we belong one to another. And that when one goes down, ultimately we all go down. Ubuntu, Ubuntu. Ubuntu, Ubuntu. Ubuntu, Ubuntu. Ubuntu, Ubuntu. Transcendent. In, in, in our African languages, we speak of something called Ubuntu. Ubuntu, Ubuntu. Ubuntu, Ubuntu. Ubuntu, Ubuntu. Ubuntu, Ubuntu. Ubuntu. 
Ubuntu. Transcendent in, in, in our African languages. We speak of something called Ubuntu. 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 Of Ubuntu, Ubuntu, the essence 
of being human. Knowing that my humanity is caught up with your humanity. We say a person is a person through other persons. That we are interconnected. That we belong one to another. And that when one goes down, ultimately we all go down. Ubuntu, Ubuntu. Ubuntu, Ubuntu. Ubuntu, Ubuntu. Ubuntu, Ubuntu. Transcendent in, in, in our African languages. We speak of something called Ubuntu. Ubuntu, Ubuntu. Ubuntu, Ubuntu. Ubuntu, Ubuntu. Ubuntu, Ubuntu. humanity. We say a person is a person through other persons. That we are interconnected. That we belong one to another. And that when one goes down, ultimately we all go down. Ubuntu, Ubuntu. Ubuntu, Ubuntu. Ubuntu, Ubuntu. Ubuntu, Ubuntu.
Hey, welcome everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome love to you all, all and love to all of us. And for those of us who tuned in a little bit early, you got to see the slideshow that was accompanied by a piece from the Lucky People's Center. They hail from Sweden. They're an amazing arts collective that's a number of years old, but it has a recording from the magnificent Archbishop Desmond Tutu. And the title of that piece, if you heard, if you tuned in, is called Ubuntu. Ubuntu, Ubuntu, not the operating, operating system, system that, uh, that uh, Luisa Brea, I think, pointed not out. The not the operating system, but Ubuntu, Ubuntu is, is in the Hosa language, language refers, refers to, to the connectedness of all people. Of all people as, as Archbishop Tutu said, we believe, we believe that, that we are people for, for other people, other people that, that our humanity is, humanity is completely, completely commingled, inextric inextricably. And I thought, and I thought of this piece as I was, as I was thinking, about thinking about how to approach this, evening this evening's celebration of our student artists, our student performers, our student musicians. And perhaps, perhaps these, are these are some of the lessons of a virus, of a virus is how, is how Connected, connected we are as a species, as a species. How, 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 how intimately connected, connected we are, we are and how fragile that connection is, how consequential that connected is, connection, connection is. is. Perhaps that's Perhaps made, more, made obvious more obvious now, now than maybe ever, ever before in, in our lifetimes anyway. It's and it's something that I think that we will carry with us even as a species going forward. I believe, I believe that in moments like this, like this art, art is of great importance, importance of and, great, and great, uh, great, consequence. great consequence. I believe that I art, believe that art elaborates, elaborates and obviates, obviates makes, makes more visible, more visible our, intimate our intimate human connections. connections. It, helps it helps us to recognize the humanity in others, in others 
and just as my own science background shows me the places on this globe right now where people have more an intrinsic recognition of their humanity, places that are maybe more homogeneous, societies, Korea, Sweden, Denmark, these locations, These locations have managed, have managed to, do to do the things that they needed to do for each other and for their people. And we struggle with that here. I believe, I believe there, is there is still a lot to be done, done for us in the United States, States to recognize, recognize our, our mutual humanity. humanity. Part of it's a struggle it's against, against racism. racism. It's, it's a recognition of ethnicity. It's a recognition of our our commonality, commonality within our differences, differences but we have a long way to go. And I believe, and I believe this is a, a, profound, a profound obstacle for us as, as people to come together, come together to do what we, to do what we to need to do to keep each other safe. safe. And that's why, that's why I think this, I is, think important this is important to celebrate our artists, our student our artists, artists who are, are saddled, are saddled all, of all of a sudden with this Unimaginable, unimaginable burden, burden of caring forth in a future that is so uncertain. And, and we're, we're at home, we're trying, home. To, we're trying to figure things out, out. we're trying to imagine well, what kind of future maybe do we have and what place, what place does, art does art have in it? Well, I am here to tell you it has an, it has enormous, an enormous place, place in our future because, because what we need, what we need now, now is imagination. We need to we contemplate, need to contemplate future, future spaces, spaces, future times. times. Science can, Science can tell us a lot about what is, is but is not very good about telling us what will be, particularly on a social level. That's a place, that's for, a place artists. for artists. That's a place for an artistic imagination. And that's a place also where we come together to acknowledge and recognize each other's humanity to do what we need to do. So I celebrate our artists, all of our students here at Burton Community College. Those, and of, us those of us who are faculty who have been going through, going enormous, through enormous learning, learning curves, curves in the last couple of weeks trying, trying to figure out how to make, make lessons, lessons go online, online make, make things relevant, things relevant make, make things happen, and how to reach out to our students. students. We've been facing our own challenges, challenges but... We've you know, seen we've seen some things and done some things, 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 but we're trying to recognize for our students had You've had lives short so lives so far, and all of a sudden it's not looking so promising on a number of different levels, but we're here together, we're here, together. We're here to do this together, and I believe that art is a celebration of that. So we're here to celebrate artists, we're here to celebrate musicians, we're here to celebrate our college, which is, oh geez, we're, in the, we're in the epicenter, we're in New Jersey, in the New York metropolitan area, and the communities that are some of the, if you look at the map, it's like it's, the, the distribution of the pandemic is like square on the top of Bergen Community College, and our campus has been turned into a FEMA center, for God's sake. So here we are. So here we are. Um, um, we're going to continue to make things happen. And, and that, I know, that I know. I'm absolutely sure of that. Sure of that. And we're going to we're going see, see that, that in the artwork. What we're going to do tonight, we're going to see some slideshows uh, of artwork that has been submitted by over close to 40 artists, I believe we have, which is about what we usually have with our student shows. So good on you all for submitting work. We have music. We have some amazing music from people's basements, like from where I'm Broadcasting, uh, broadcasting to you now, to you now. Folks, are folks are creating music, music in, their in their bedrooms and their basements. It's not unusual. It's not unusual. I saw Mike McCready from Pearl Jam doing a performance from his guest bathroom. bathroom. I could see, I could the, see the little towels on the on, so on the rack. Is, so this is this is what we're all doing. doing. So, so it's it's cool, it's cool that folks are rising to the challenge and making it happen. Making it happen. Um, we're going to see some music. We're see some music. We, have some we have some guest faculty, faculty people, people that I believe will, will try to figure, out, I can figure out all the technology, be joining us on WebEx. On WebEx. And, and uh, we have some, uh, have some messages. We've, messages. we've even got advertising. So we've got, so we've got everything going on. Going on. And, and I just want I to just give, a, want to give a, a, a quick shout out first to... All of our folks, all of our in, the folks in the health professions, including, including all of the teachers, teachers and trainers at Bergen, at Bergen who are training the, next, training the generation next generation of first responders, of nurses, of doctors, of, doctors, of people of who are going to be wading into this, into this for the next 
number of years. Number of years. And for the people and for who've already, already completed their studies, who are Bergen alums and who are staffing places, staffing places like Holy Name Hospital in Teaneck, one of the epicenters, one of the profoundly hit places. Um, I want to shout out to them and, and give you our love, our, our deep solidarity, and um, our, give you our thanks and our gratitude. So I know you're there for us. We're going to see what we can do to be there for you. I want to give a shout out also to Bergen Community Colleges, heroic IT people uh, who have changed the face to face class format into a uh, uh, online, course, online format, course format on a dime overnight, overnight including, people, including from people from the CITL like Amarjeet Kaur and uh, Patrick Sims. Patrick Sims. Uh, we would not be anywhere, anywhere relevant, relevant without, you guys. without so you guys. So deep gratitude, gratitude to you and to all, and to all the department chairs, chairs the deans, the, deans, executive, the executive committee, everybody. Our, we're very lucky, we're very lucky to have, to have some, uh, wonderful some wonderful leadership from our, from our President Our President Ross, Anthony Ross, and uh, we're, we're grateful for his steady, steady calming presence, presence in this period of time. So I wanted to be sure to, to mention that. Our tech staff and IT people, are uh, we rely on them utterly now, and we're all going through these learning curves, and we couldn't do it without you all. So all of you students, uh, I hope that you'll, you'll take some time to... Uh, Thank them. Thank when them. When we get when, a chance, we get a do, chance. Online, do it online, but then when you get on back campus, on campus, make sure you make a point to thank some of these people for making this all happen. Um, so, so, what I have online here, I think I'm going to head into a, um, a slideshow. A slide We're going to look at some artwork, and I'm going to come back, and we'll... Uh, come up with some of our music performances and we'll check in with some of the folks that are going to be joining us this evening. So I'm so glad you're here.
Hi, and we're back. I hope that the echo has resolved itself. I am trying to figure out the source of that, but please give me a, a shout out from the chat if there's still echo problems. I'll see what I can do to resolve it. My apologies. This is my first time trying to do something like this, so this is uh, my 60-some year old brain doing its learning curve, so my apologies for the problems with this feed, but I'm going to try and resolve whatever issues we have. Um, let's see what happens. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, uh, introduce you to Dr. Uh, Andy Cricken, and he is a part of our performing arts faculty. Um, we're going to have him join us through WebEx, and we're going to be uh, joined from some other faculty people in a little bit, but um, I'm going to ask him to join us on WebEx, and uh, he's going to say a few words, so I believe he's queued up and ready, so we're going to see if we can have Andy Cricken join us. Andy, it's a pleasure to have you. This does not seem to be happening yet. My apologies. This is, uh, this is, I guess, the the nightmare of trying to do things live when you got too, so many moving parts. So we'll see if we can get this running here, and let's see if we can make this work. Okay, I'm going to move us over to Andy's uh, music video, one that he prepared earlier in the pandemic, and I'm going to put this up, and let's see if uh, um, I can fix this uh, while Andy's music is playing. So we're going to move on to something else. Hold on. Hi, I'm Andy from Andy and the Rattlesnakes. It's great to be here to support the great work that people to people do for our community, particularly during these difficult times. I'd like to send this next song out to all the healthcare workers, first responders, grocery clerks, pharmacists, and all the many others who keep our community going. Uh, to you all, you are my flame. makes a shivering haze of the universe as the electrical storm gathers over our heads has me frantically looking around for hallowed ground as the heat from uncountable radiant beams makes a shivering haze of my vision of the world and I forget all I know all I see and hear was only a passageway into your heart As the weight of a six billion year old dream slowly comes to a close As the legends that guided the rivers and heavens metamorphosize and collide as I shade my eyes from the glare of my ancestors gazing at me unforgivingly as the wild geese that swim in the jet stream below make a shiver in haze of my vision of the world and I forget all I know all I see and hear was only a passageway into your heart you are my flame, 
You are my life, you are my day, and every night. of eternity smiles on the face of the stark raven man as the doorway to paradise swings open for a moment and a glimpse inside I see you and me at the table in the light of the afternoon sun as you comb your hair in the mirror I step into the shivering haze My vision of the world And I laugh at all I know All I see and hear Is only a passageway Into your heart You are my flame You are my light You are my day And every night I apologize. Um, I'm still working on this video piece, uh, this capture from uh, WebEx, so I'll see what I can do to get this thing back up. But while I'm working on that, what I'm going to do is uh, play a video clip that was what I was really hoping we could receive from some of our music students. Um, Divinity Montijo and Daniel Lepata put together a merge video. This is recorded in their two separate homes uh, in quarantine. They, uh, Daniel plays guitar, uh, Divinity sings. They're doing a cover of Marin Morris's The Bones. And I think this is just an absolutely exquisite, exquisite piece and I think that you are going to really dig this. Took a hard left 
Hi. That was just amazing. Just amazing. The, the girl can just sure enough sing and Daniel, I use the Spanish pronunciation for you ignoramuses out there. So, okay, it's Daniel, who unfortunately I haven't met yet, but I'm looking forward to it. Um, just plays the shit out of that guitar. That was just beautiful. That was just beautifully, beautifully done. Now, the thing that makes this even more amazing is that they were playing this in time, in sequence, recorded in two separate locations from their rooms, their basements, wherever they're recording from, and then integrating that on a, on a video system. And that is really, really hard to do. Just the video editing part of that is really hard to do. Anybody who has ever tried that knows that that is some tough stuff. And they put it together, they're brave enough to put both of them playing together on the screen just to make sure that it's all lined up in sequence and we can see that they're playing together and they're playing together apart just as a lot of us are doing now. So Ubuntu, we're all together, we're interconnected and we're making it happen. Um, again, my apologies, I'm still having some difficulty getting um, some of our uh, WebEx invitees on. I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to make that happen, but that's okay. We're gonna soldier on and we're gonna play some more music. This is uh, Casey Suarez and she is also recording from her own bedroom. So here we go, Casey Suarez. Heart. 
we're back. Casey, that was amazing. That was just beautiful, beautiful, and really good on you for, for putting that together and, and making this happen tonight for all of us. That's a gift to everybody, and I'm so grateful that you did this. Thank you so much. Um, we have so much talent at this school. I, I could not be a more prouder human being than to be associated with Bergen Community College, and I'm grateful to all of you for uh, being here and to make this happen. I'll tell you though, one thing I've learned in my 20 minutes of doing live streaming is that you pay no attention to the chat because if you stare at the chat bar, you're gonna lose your mind. I'm just saying, just, you guys are crazy. I, I mean, just, I, I, you guys are just really, like, really, like really bugged and my goodness gracious, has that been distracting? So I'm not paying any attention to y'all anymore. I'm just saying that, I'm just not paying a lick of attention to you chat people because that's just, just just so wrong. So anyway, um, we're going to take a look at now, we're going to take a look at some animation that was made uh, under the tutelage of folks like uh, Professor Francis Schmidt and others in the department. And the first two that we are going to look at are uh, rather short. Um, there are works in progress, so you'll hear the audio cut out um, on the first one, but the first one is by uh, China Rain Chung, and the second one is by Stephen Trinidad. So I'm going to play those short video pieces, and I hope you enjoy, enjoy these. told you they were short. <laughs> the thing that you find out about, about animation though is like to make that little bit of stuff takes days, days and days to do and it is a, a sublime craft and it is difficult. It is hard to do. There are programs to learn. You need to be able to draw. You need to be able to think in three dimensions, four dimensions, five. How many? Francis, how many dimensions you need to think in to work with rotoscope and animation? Well, you need to think in a lot. You got to be really, like really, really smart, dope smart. So uh, good on you guys. That's China Rain Chung was the first one, and Stephen Trinidad was the second one. And the next piece that we're going to do is a, a longer piece. Uh, this one is Joe, by Joe Annunziata. And this one here is a little bit longer and is a, a really a finished complete animation and he calls it abstract animation. Enjoy.
That was amazing. That was amazing. I think you guys are so talented. Uh, you guys are so talented. Really proud of you all. Um, let's see. What have we got up for you next? Actually, what we're going to do is we're going to hear from uh, uh, Brian Cordell from the uh, English department. He teaches poetry, and he has a, has a message for us that's in line with our theme for the evening. So... I'm going to let him speak to you, and uh, we'll be right back. Hi, I'm Professor Cordell. One of the things I love about Bergen is that we have such a talented group of student artists, musicians, and writers. In times like these, we need art and culture more than ever. It can help provide context and understanding or document what we are collectively going through. It can provide an escape or it can act as a cathartic release. I know many of my students right now have been having a difficult time finding their creative voice. And what I've told them, what I would tell any of you, is that whether it be because of greater responsibilities at home, at work, illness, or just general anxiety, your voice, your creative spark will return. And when it does, we'll all need to hear, to see, to read your work. I'd like to share one of my poems with you now that was written a little over a year ago, but it seems to speak to what we are all going through now. It's called Steady Now. In the densest of stars, there is darkness. At their heart, not even light makes it out. But listen, beneath the thin bend of guitar string, a little silence sometimes makes it out. Listen, I hear it, the wisp and hush of static as the last song plays, as the record ends, hum of an amplifier, drone of a generator, between them, something I can't make out. Phases of the moon, the north star, and the way darkness echoes along the horizon. Obsessions we share. These and silence and a faltered voice. Not even words make it out. What are left to sing now but all your old hymns, while this night, like prayer, examines the last of our sins? When every organ fails, what music makes it out? Part of me listens always. But in the distance, on the radio, there are no more songs. Silence and the clink of empty bottles, beneath them a note. I can just make it out. Someday, when our wicks burn low, when our candles dim, I can say goodnight, Magnolia. Steady now. Look out this window. Follow the old North Star. You might just make it out. That was gorgeous. Um, I think someone once asked, what is the opposite of violence? And I remember answering poetry. Poetry is the answer to that. Poetry is the, is the opposite of violence. Why? I, Poetry is also like art. Poetry is Ubuntu. It's a declaration of the interconnectedness of all of us. That there is a listener, there is a speaker, there is a story to be told, there are connections to be made, there's meaning to be found. And we declare our interconnected, intertwined, inextricably bound humanity with poetry. And Brian is both a wonderful, wonderful poet and an extraordinary teacher. And we are so lucky to have him. I know that you feel the same. Um, 
we're going to now have uh, some more music, and this is going to come courtesy of another one of the fabulous music students at Berg, and this is from Patrick Keystead. Take a look around the room The world seems to be doomed Patrick, that was gorgeous. If you're out there listening, that was that was really gorgeous. You've got a terrific voice. You've got great piano chops, and your songwriting skills are are really solid. That was a really beautiful piece. There was part of that song that caught my attention, which was the part about sending a letter. I don't know. You guys send letters. <laughs> I mean, I barely send letters anymore, but you know, I, I have been thinking about the letter as a form of communication, especially as our administration thinks about taking down the post office. That's a great, 
great idea, good thing to do and to announce, especially in the middle of a pandemic when we rely upon people to bring stuff, you know, to your house. Let's talk openly about firing and getting rid of the people that are our essential workers. That's a great topic to have, but that's, that's a whole other discussion. Um, but I want to get back to what Patrick was talking about, about the, the lowly letter. I want you to think about writing and sending a letter. And I'm going to tell you here's why. You get out a piece of paper, and not just any paper, but a, a nice piece of paper, a special piece of paper. And you get your favorite writing implement, your favorite pen, not just some sick little ballpoint or some scratchy shit. No, you get something out that's got... Like you, you feel that thing in your hand and it feels like, yeah, this feels right. This feels good. And then you set about to write somebody who needs to know about you. Not just to know of your whereabouts and yeah, I'm okay, but needs to connect with you somehow. Because what a letter does that an email can never do is carry your trace. Forget about viral particles. I'm talking about your essential human trace. The imprint of your pen on the paper, the pressing into the paper, that, that, that trace of you being there, the trace of your work. It has that, that voice of yours that's carried through your words, um, but it has the flourish of your ink on the paper and nobody else does it the way that you do. It has your fingerprints, it may even have your scent, your cologne, your perfume, or some aspect of you. And you put that in an envelope and you address it and give it to one of those beautiful people that come to your house every day and bring you things. And send that off with them to somebody that you need to connect with. And maybe they'll write you back. Yeah, maybe they won't, but... Maybe they write you back and you will feel connected in a way that you don't get from electronics or virtual communications. You get that essential Ubuntu, that Ubuntu we're talking about. And um, so thank you, Patrick. That was, that was beautiful. And uh, not to kill this party, but actually we're going to... Um, what are we going to do? We're going to actually go to Kelsey Arts, who is going to be giving us a, a, a dance performance. Yo, bro did this on this like front doorstep, and shame on you for the rest of you guys for not coming up with anything to send to this show because people were like clearly out doing it. So uh, good for you, Kelsey, and let's check it out. Thank you. 
was Kelsey Arts. That was magnificent. That was great. Unfortunately, dude didn't have like his crew together like to stop the trucks out in front of the house, but man, we gotta excuse that. That was just awesome. That was just awesome. Under these conditions to produce like this, man, I gotta hand it to y'all. That was fantastic. That was great. So what I'm thinking that we might do now is head back and look at some more of the visual art. And uh, we have a couple more things in store for you after that, but we're going to look at some more of the artwork now. Um, and we'll hit you back in a few minutes.
Well, that was odd. Policy violations. I'm not sure what that could be about. I hope that we're back on. I'm seeing a black screen, but hopefully we're back engaged. Um, the music, if you're interested in the uh, musical background, this is from uh, actually a friend of mine, a very close friend of mine uh, named Anat Fort. This is uh, actually, she graduated from William Patterson. So any of you musicians out there, um, never, ever, ever trash New Jersey and never think of Jersey schools as being anything other than outstanding. So Anat graduated from uh, William Patterson's outstanding jazz program, and she's now a featured recording artist on ECM. So um, if you want to check her out, uh, you can find her stuff all over iTunes, just about any place. So uh, make sure you, um, this was from her album called Colors, and she has another one uh, called Bird Songs. So um, that's, there's several, it's on ECM. So definitely check out a knot for it. So I hope you enjoyed the artwork. Um, we actually have, um, we actually have a, a little bit of an advertisement for tonight. We have um, another upcoming live stream that will hopefully not be full of the technical difficulties that this one was. Um, this is from, you know, people who are professionals at this. This is from the theater department are doing a, a director's lab. And uh, Tom O'Neill, who is the professor of the uh, drama courses, uh, has a few words and is going to set up a short teaser video for this a live stream event that's coming up this week. So give me just a second. I'll cue this up and we'll check this out. Hi, BCC Arts Department and Community. The students of the Spring 2020 Director's Lab are presenting their work virtually on the 28th and 29th of April next week at 7.30. Timothy Blunk, curator of the gallery, has graciously offered us a moment to promote these projects. And to give you an idea of what the students have been up to, here is a little sample. And I hope you will catch us on the Bergen Stages Facebook page next Tuesday and Wednesday night at 7.30. Enjoy the sample. Oh, by the way, this is Tom O'Neill, the instructor of the directing course. Haven't you been in a situation where nothing makes sense? Absolutely nothing sinks in? Like your behavioral patterns make you completely and utterly insane? At the ready, Captain Sarah Malone. Our spies gathered some data on the Red Baron's tactics and whereabouts. He's flying down to capture our princess at Castle Barbie. Spies on the map. He's planning to destroy Ken's pink Corvette. Oh no! Not the pink Corvette! Let's get this engine started, Private Stan! Everything checks out A OK. So move it. On the W, you nitwit. Yes, sir, Captain. Leader of the most famous flying squadron ever, the Barbie Legionnaires. On the W, you nitwit. Woo!
Hi, we're back. So that's an advertisement for the Director's Lab, and that's coming up. Oh, we're suspended again. That's great. They're killing me. Let's see if this comes back on. Anyway, I'm going to keep talking, and the algorithms of YouTube uh, notwithstanding, um, we're going to try and plug back into some artwork to try and take this out, and uh, then I think we'll call this a wrap for tonight. But it's been a great pleasure to have you here, and I hope that uh, uh, this has been enjoyable and a good experience for everyone. So. Thank you one and all for doing this, and I hope that you'll be well, and stay safe, stay strong, stay creative, and support these live stream events. Make sure that you check in with these, uh, check in with uh, the events that are trying to bring us together and keep us connected, and uh, I hope we'll see you on the rebound. Maybe we'll try this again. So again, we're going to come up with some more artwork here to take us out and wish you all a good night. Take good care.
Take a look around the room The world seems to be doomed
To feel out of it, and I want it all, but get none of it. Living in the past, living in the future, I let the moment pass, cause it's what I'm used to. Said it's easier to give in a fear instead of being. Yeah. It's a long Thank <laughs> you. 
made for freedom. And even when you stamp on us almost forever, as a tyrant, you have had it. And freedom will come. Human beings will strive after that. For we know inside us that we're made for the transcendent. In, in, in our African languages, we speak of something called Ubuntu. Ubuntu, Ubuntu. Ubuntu, Ubuntu. Ubuntu, Ubuntu. Ubuntu, Ubuntu. humanity. We say a person is a person through other persons, that we are interconnected, that we belong one to another, and that when one goes down, ultimately we all go down. Ubuntu, Ubuntu. Ubuntu, Ubuntu. Ubuntu, Ubuntu. Ubuntu, Ubuntu. Ubuntu. 